Okay, what I'm trying to do here is show you a quick example with SSIS how you can use the uh, Google Geocoding web service. So, in my case, I've got the address information in a table and I want to go out there and send it through this web service and come back with a latitude, longitude, and some kind of a level of accuracy. So, all I'm going to do here is going to start with a data flow task. Go right in there. I've got my Olay DB source. I will go ahead and set that up. Actually, do a SQL statement here. Um, really, all I need here, I need this course ID, that's my primary key, and then I need my street, city, state, and zip. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add on my latitude, longitude, and accuracy. Those fields currently in the source are null, so uh, I'm just going to be passing in the empty values. Actually, uh, on my source table, those don't exist. Forgive me for that. I don't have those fields, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull this in. So I've got my course ID, street, city, state, and zip. I'm going to go through a, let's say, let's just do a derive column here. And I'm going to create those fields. I'm going to create them all as zeros, and those are going to be numeric. Okay, and then I'm going to pass these through a script component, and I'm going to select transformation, send it all through that, and then I've got my OLEDB destination. So my script component here, I'm going to look through in here, we've got our inputs all set up. Actually, let's select those. So I've got my course ID, street, city, state, zip, and then I've got my latitude, longitude, and accuracy, which are the d derived columns. So here I need to, in those, just to make this easier, so I'm only going through one buffer for the script, I'm going to make these all read right. And what this is going to do is just save me from creating output parameters in here. So I now, right now, I don't really have technically any output parameters, but I have my three read write variables. And like I said, that's all that's really going to do is save me some buffer space and hopefully save me some processing. So I'll go in here to my script. Uh, I don't really have to do anything in here except design the script. Okay, uh, so we're in here in the script. What I need to do first is go ahead and add a reference to system.net. I'm sorry, system.web. And I'm going to add a new class. And this is what you're, you can download from the site here. I'm not exactly sure where I got this from, so if it's yours or you know who uh, wrote it, please let me know and I'll give them credit and you know give them all the link backs and everything all I know is I sure did not write it it's very simple though uh, so what we've got here uh, is we've got only thing you have to do in here to edit it is add your Google API key so you're gonna get that from Google and just paste that right into here we've got our string here that we're creating adding on the key the output type it's right here in the code it's doing a CSV format uh, it's doing a URL on code on the address that you're passing in and it's basically coming out with a latitude and longitude if it doesn't find any or if it finds multiple so basically if it doesn't find a single unique address it's gonna come back with zeros alright so I'm gonna go ahead and name this Google Geocode, and then in my main script, I need to add a reference to that. Uh, 
Okay, so then now what I need to do is go ahead and dim a coordinate here, or dim a variable as this coordinate that I've imported in. And here's what this looks like. I'm sending in geocode.getCoordinates. And I'm sending in the street, city, state, and the zip code all in one. So basically what I'm going to do here uh, to define my accuracy, um, the day that I have is not necessarily perfect. So let me just keep it that way. It's actually from an Excel source. So the second thing I'm going to do is, now that I've got my coordinates, I'm going to check to see if the latitude and longitude are zero. If they're zero, I know that it didn't find a, a, an exact fit. If the, neither one of them are zero, then I'm going to set my input row here which is my input buffer, the input that I'm passing in. I'm setting the row equal to, let's see here, row dot lat equals the coordinate, the variable here, dot latitude. And I'm setting the accuracy to 1 because that means that it's my first attempt. Else, I'm going to go ahead and send this thing back through. So, so I'm going to basically do the same thing here. I'm not going to redim the coordinate. I'm going to set it equal to this geocode get coordinates but I'm going to leave out the street so now I'm only going to pass it in at the city state level actually I've got the city state and zip code so I'm going to go ahead realizing that my address data may not be uh, perfect I'm going to send in city state and zip and then I'm going to do the same check now if the coordinates uh, if the latitude and longitude still don't equal or well, okay if they don't equal zero I'm going to go ahead and set the latitude and longitude if they still equal zero that I'm basically going to pass the same thing through again with only the zip code. And you can kind of get the point here. After that, um, I'm setting the accuracy here to 2, so accuracy here to 3, else, else, else. So basically, here, this would be at only the state level, and this here would be nothing. I have no idea where this is. Uh, so then I'm just going to close up all my end ifs and be done with it. Uh, and you see here I've got my accuracies defined. I know exactly what I'm passing in at this. Uh, so when my data comes back, I can kind of read from that accuracy level and determine how much more research I need to put into it to actually uh, close the gap on the latitude and longitude. So we'll go ahead and get out of here. And close the script and basically that's all we need to do. Now we just need to map our destination. We've got all of our columns coming through and then we just match them all up. Um, and that's how you do it. So grab the geocode and uh, the, the class, paste it into your project and hopefully you'll get some use out of it like I did. It worked like a charm. Uh, the only thing I did notice is that doing bulk geocoding like this I'm not sure if it's on the Google side or if it's on my side, but um, I'm going to say every 25 go through successfully, and then there's a gap of like 10 or so that come back with all zeros. And then the next group, everything works fine, and then the next group, they all come back with zeros. So then I had to create basically just an update routine that's going to go through the source and look at everything that is zero latitude longitude and accuracy are zero and then I'm just gonna reprocess them all send them straight through the same thing so eventually I'm gonna dwindle down those zeros and get them to where everything is at least at the very least at the state level uh, that's how I did it so uh, hopefully this will help you out be a starting point anyway